Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. I'm going to sneeze. Uh, tonight, from the, just see it there, the Ad Iceland Wine Advent Calendar. It's day seven. Uh, it's been red, white, rose, red, white, rose so far. So, I think it's going to be a red. So. And lo and behold, we have a red. Um, Long Neck Cabernet Sauvignon. Never heard of the brand. Um, South African Cabernet Sauvignon. 13.5% uh, volume, so good strength. Youthful purple colour. Intense fruit on the nose with delightful cherry overtones. The perfect companion for all meats. Pasta and dark fish, uh, dark fish, dark fish. Uh, gold medal winner in 2010. So that's interesting. Let's pour it out. <clears throat> Glass is a bit hazy. It's been sat on the. Uh, that, let me swap it for a <clears throat> clean glass, or should I say a dry glass? That's better. Can't be doing moving. Oh God, that's as manky as the other one. So, nice colour to it, nice uh, dark, you know, they're not ebony, but certainly dark, you know, it's not black, but it's, uh, it's getting that way. I mean, it says it's a purple colour, but I don't know. Does it look purple? I mean, it's very hard with red wines because, you know, let's be fair, they aren't actually red. You can see a hint of red in it, but it's like a dark red, like a black red. Um, delightful cherry overtones. So, in the nose, I just get the usual blackberries and blackcurrant, you know, that sort of thing. Definitely a cherry in the taste. Mm. It is nice after a long day at work. I get up, I get up just before five o'clock and it is now something like eight o'clock at night and uh, by this time, shattered. So it's quite an easy, easy to drink. Uh, <coughs> Red wine. Um, I wouldn't call it a full bodied. Um, more middle of the road. I wouldn't say it's a, a, a light red wine, but it's definitely middle of the road. You know, it's definitely one. If you've had red wines for a while and you want to step up from the from the light and fruities to something a bit more spicy, a bit more bold. Um, this is definitely one of those to go for before you get to the real top end full body jobbies that you know mm. so let's have a look on the internet see if we can bring anything up about these wines but the funny thing is with beers is let you see lots of reviews but wines probably because they're more expensive uh, long neck C.A. Long Neck Cabernet Sauvignon. So. Uh, <laughs> so at Vivino.com, again it's Vivino, there is no other site, an aggregated wine site. Um, when it loads. 2.9 out of 5, it's not the greatest. Uh, it's not available for sale. Simple on the nose with balsamic tones, smooth at the first mouthful, slight cranberry with a hint of spice. I did get a hint of spice. The bottle says tones of cherry, which I sort of agree with. Yeah, there's, there's a slight cherry um, to it. 
Fruity, very smooth to drink, does not blend with hot spicy food, but works well with fatty dishes. Enjoyed it. And someone else has put, liked this smoky aftertaste. So, again, not a lot to um, compare with. Definitely a bit of spice there. For me, it's just a very easy to drink uh, red wine. Um, yeah, it goes down the tree. Um, it's not one where you take a glass and you're like, oh. And uh, whether, whether because it's not your thing or whether it's because it's super strong in its flavours, you know, it's just that middle of the road wine that uh, should please most people. Bar the wine connoisseurs who you know, in their ways, they want the more expensive stuff because it's a bit more complex. Mm. So, another nice wine. I mean, that's seven out of seven so far. Seven out of seven that I would uh, rate to anybody, you know, not been a nasty one there. Leave from which was probably the weakest of the bunch. Uh, you know, it's just that type of wine. You know, you either like it or loathe it. Uh, whilst I could drink it, it's not something I would go and pick a bottle off the shelf, given the choice. Um, so yeah, um, that five. Mm. So. Thinking about what other scores I've given. I'm going to give this a 4.2 out of 5 for, on the wines. Nice it is. Nothing special though. You know, but if I'm being honest. No special, but you know, still nice enough. And uh, probably probably the weakest of the red wines so far. The three, yeah, one, two, three red wines. Yeah, definitely the weakest so far. But still decent, you know, still a decent one to out the neck. And you could drink a bottle in that in, in no time. Thanks for watching. See you soon.